Well, what's up, guys? I'm in the kitchen with my man, Chef Max Reeves, out of Red Street Kitchen. It's actually a food truck out of Warren, right? Yes, you seen that? Yes, Where's it located? Where can people find you? Uh, we're at uh, Kennedy Plaza um, for lunches, but we also do um, a lot of different pop-up uh, events, festivals. Uh, this weekend, we're at um, Indy Point Park for the right. Food Truck of America Festival. 23 trucks, 23 breweries, um, really kick-ass food. A um, lot of local um, chefs, uh, basically what we're going to do today. Right, that's what I'm looking and, forward uh, to. It. This is the type of food that you guys have on the truck that people can try. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. tell me about it. What do we got going on here? What are we looking at here? We're going to make a Cubano. So we're going to make a Cubano. This is a uh, pork loin, mm -hmm. and we're going to roast this off with some uh, piri piri sauce and a little bit of masa pimento. Okay. So it's got a little bit of a Portuguese flair to it. Um, I see that with the bread, because yep. traditionally it's usually like a flatbread. Right, right? exactly. And this where's is, the bread These out are popsicles Cumberland, from uh, Cumberland, uh, from Colonial Bakery in Cumberland. Okay. And uh, we got them fresh this morning. Um, so and again, Cubano, usually ham, right? Yes, sir, usually ham. Um, this one we're going to slow roast, pork loin. We're going to hit it with some allspice, some Portuguese allspice, which is not your traditional allspice. It's a little bit different. It's got a little bit of orange peel in it, paprika. Um, and then uh, the piri piri, which is a hot sauce. Okay. And that adds a little pop to it. I'm liking it. Um, so we're going to roast that off, braise this shoulder really good uh, so we can pull it apart. We, we fold all the fat back into it. Save you, you get me and hungry then, right now. <laughs> Save me. Let's wrap. I'm actually getting <laughs> yeah, starving yeah. right now just speaking. Sure. Guys, back to you. I'm trying to stay away because I want to just start picking at things and he keeps slapping my hand away, but we're going to start getting into it right yep, now, yes, right, sir, Chef? We're right going to start cooking some things up, so let's do it. Let's see how this thing starts off for you. All right, so we're gonna, first we're going to take this pork loin right here. We're going to take the Antonio's Allspice and just spread it on in there a little bit like this. Okay. Then you're going to rub it in. Turn it over. All right, and obviously this is the seasoning. This is this is going to give it that. This is it gives it a little bit of a uh, just a different. I mean, it's not like I said, it's not the a traditional Cubano. Right. It's got a little bit of a Portuguese, Portuguese um, influence, yeah. influence onto it exactly. Um, so we'll take that allspice. We'll rub it with what that. What else are we put on there? No salt, no pepper. No uh, salt. The salt's wow. going to pull the pull the um, moisture out of it. Okay. So we kind of add add our salt more in the later stages when we're building the sandwich. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take a little bit of this masa pimento, right. which is just. Um, Essentially, it's just like a brined red pepper. You gonna rub this in with your hand yep. too? Let me get in there. Yeah, Let me get in there. Get, right? get all over that. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Psh, professional. Okay. Do we gotta flip, flip it over? that over? Flip it over. Okay. Yeah. There you go. All right. Let's do it. And then this is this. So why this is this, this is peppers and salt. The, why yeah. wouldn't I? Why would I do so, this? So so that's why it's gonna have a lot of bit of you know I don't add salt to that at that point either. Okay. Um, How's that? And then this is the piri piri. This is the hot sauce to All give right. it that little pop, that little bite to it. Okay. So this is your little bit of like, little bite at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get all around, flip it over again. Okay. There we go. Hit me. There you go. All right. Finish it off. You actually even add a little bit more than that. Oh, you're, you're stepping you know, it up. This and comes right up. Now. Yeah, there you go. Okay. There okay. Go. We're going there. You can't be shy. They sell huge uh, and this things is heat, of this And stuff obviously, in each in one the, of these ingredients bring a different level of flavor to it, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So you're going to have the, the spice, then you have a little bit of that red pepper, and then you get the hot sauce. So right then from the here, end. real quickly, what do we do? We take this. That this, goes into this, we're going to pop in the oven. Okay. 350. We're going to bake that off right. for about about an hour. Yep. For, we'll check it at a half hour, 45 minutes. Um, then right here, we got our braised pork shoulder. Yep. This is a picnic shoulder, bone in. Yep. So we're gonna hit this with a little bit of mirepoix, um, onions, carrots, celery. Then we're gonna hit it with some citrus ingredients. So lemon, lime, um, right in there with the sauce. We're gonna braise that for, that goes for about six hours. And then um, we take it out, we pick it all up. And right after that, guys, sandwiches. dedication right here. Just kidding, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Back to you, Michaela. <laughs> We are back one last time in the Roadshow Kitchen. Chef Max, man, he's been cooking up a storm here from Red Street Kitchen. We're making a Cubano, and I said to him earlier, you throw pickles on any sandwich, I'm in. I'm sold. Yeah. <laughs> I love pickles. Uh, but I'm loving all the ingredients that you have going on. What are we fixing up right now? So right here we have the pulled pork mm -hmm. from the picnic shoulder, um, and that's all the fat just, you know, and, and the meat all picked together, put in there. This is the roasted pork loin. Wow. Um, we're cooking that up here, and now we're going to throw this in there too. Mm -hmm. This is just the sliced, it up, warm it up. sliced loin. So now we'll add a little bit of salt to it right here. Add a little bit of the Antonio's allspice again, mm. just because I like it. <laughs> and then um, why not? Let's see, run out of piri piri. We'll throw a little bit more piri piri in there. And what was that again? 
So this is like a, it's like a Portuguese, uh, it's essentially a Portuguese hot sauce. Okay. Um, a lot of people make it at home, um, especially around here. But uh, you can find it at uh, a lot of the Ciabra markets, um, mm -hmm. sell it. Um, so basically, we're going to throw that together and we grab our cheese. All right. And as you're doing that, is this something that you're going to be offering at the festival? This is not going to be offered at the festival. This is one of the things we traditionally sell for lunch. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not as quick as a lot of the other stuff for these big festivals. We want to be fast. But you mentioned something else that you are serving. Up. Doing Let's a, talk about a that. crab roll with avocado. Crab roll. Um, oh, cucumbers. It's almost like a California roll in a bun, toasted. Uh, we're doing um, fried green good. tomatoes from um, Scratch Farms, and that's with the pimento cheese that we did, all in uh, sub rolls from Krugnally Bakery. Mm -hmm. And uh, really, Some really local excellent. Stuff, yeah. yeah, thank you. Um, we take our pickles, just hit the pickles right on here. Layer that Layer up. Layer on some Swiss cheese. And we're just going to cover it up. I know for a while people were, were kind of like anti Swiss cheese. I don't know what it was. Maybe growing up, Swiss cheese wasn't always the one that you'd <laughs> buy from the deli counter. I love it. Especially on a sandwich. I get it. I, uh, it's going to be part of my cheesecake. We've already established this. Right. He You're wants to start a, a cheesecake. cheesecake. Yeah, yeah, will you, yeah, visit, excellent. Will you yeah, visit yeah, yeah, yeah. with me? Oh, definitely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love cheese. I told him we'd bring the crackers. Yeah. So, th yeah, so this <laughs> is just a Finlander uh, Swiss cheese. Um, and that's your that's the traditional part of the Cubano is your Swiss cheese, your your pickles, your mm -hmm. mustard, um, usually some kind of ham, and yeah. in our case it's the it's the roasted loin and it's the full pork shoulder. Beautiful. And, um, so this is all melting up really nicely right here. Yep, it should be. So you get a nice crisp on that um, that pork shoulder. Now where are you normally located, Chef? So we work at a Pope or? Main okay. in Warren. Um, that's our commissary, and that's nice. our. It's a nonprofit down there that does a lot of local businesses, mm -hmm. and we we just started up this year, and that's where we've been operating out of. Awesome. Um, We're going to be highlighting Hope and Maine actually tonight in our special summer. Oh yeah, excellent. Series. Right, yeah. right, right. So There's a lot of really that. great um, startup companies coming out of there. Local sauces, chilies, um, just really, really great products, mm -hmm. um, and the the staff over there is excellent. Um, so here I'm, I'm kind of doing two things at once. I'm pressing it while I'm doing the meat right there. Yeah. So just to kind of move this a little bit along. So well, this hey, is when you're working at a festival, you got to move. You right. Move exactly. Like we turn these orders. out. You know. Um, so this if, when we do this, right here too. Right. We're grilling we'll, off the bun. Mm -hmm. mm, absolutely. And there's a little bit of just olive oil on there, just yep. to give it a little bit more crisp. Um, I don't didn't bring my press, so we just substitute by bringing in another pan. Um, okay, there you go. Anything to weight it down. Improvise, really, it's going to work. Mm -hmm. um, and then we start layering That's this up. Good. Yep. I know, I know you guys can't up. smell this, but it smells <laughs> so incredible. And, uh, it smells incredible. Thank you. All right, and the so texture now. is like you said, that nice crisp right. texture on the pulled pork. Yup, exactly. Look, that's the key, is you got to get that nice, a little bit of crisp. I mean, you see some of this is still a little bit mm -hmm. uncrisp, but it's kind of both. You get the crisp and you get like the, the moist, um, you know, sort of uncrisp pieces. Yeah. We take this. That textural element, though, will really add to the sandwich. When you bite into it, it's you're going right. to get the cheese. The we crunch. actually went through a number of different kinds of rolls. Um, some were too soft, some were, but we find that the pop sticks that we get from Colonial Bakery again are I just love pops. Yeah. perfect, yep. you know, for this. It's not too, mm -hmm. doesn't, you know, cut the roof of your mouth, I guess, as right. they say, right, you know, right, like it's not, a, right, anything. right. So we're going to take this other one. Wow. Put that on there. Any sauces or anything that go on and this, and that's it. This, that's well, all you so need. So this, yeah, basically. Now what I would do is press this a little bit more till it's till it's crispy mm -hmm. on the other side, and then to Melds finish. everything together. Right to meld it all together now. <laughs> smells incredible. Chef, that looks. <laughs> and then we're gonna awesome. hit this now with a little bit of the sauce. You can feel that now. That's I mean, like these right. are crisp, but this mm -hmm. is like right. a really pretty crisp. Um, and the other side's getting there. And we're gonna take a little bit of sriracha. To Ooh. add a little Asian yeah. to it. A little bit of sriracha. And then this is just uh this is just um like country style grape poupon. And uh awesome. I'm just gonna add that. Couple finishing touches. Man, does that look good, Chef. Yeah. All right, you're gonna Thank wanna you. check out what Red Street right. Kitchen is offering over at the festival this weekend.